Uh, hello everyone. So in this part, uh, basically we're going to show a tutorial on anthropometric measurement. Uh, you know what uh, I've noticed uh, when I work in the field that uh, most of this Anganwadi workers, Asha workers and you know a lot of us we like we don't measure children's height, weight, length properly okay and uh, that's our bread and butter. So if you don't know how to take length of the child or say height of the child, uh, we will not get correct data and if you don't have correct data, we can basically kind of misinterpret and we feel that oh child is doing okay or child is kind of too short or uh, underweight and we will get uh, you know wrong results. So here uh, I'm very very particular about uh, measurement of children's uh, anthrop anthropometry okay. Uh, another thing is what uh, we used to do in our program is we had two people uh, actually even three people do anthropometric measurement uh, you know in, in the group of two okay uh, specifically for length because what I noticed that the length measurement was very difficult for healthcare workers to do it because you have to really keep the baby steady uh, so do kind of think of uh, or watch that tutorial very carefully and understand that how uh, when baby is kind of measured uh, maybe its length is measured in a recumbent position uh, you want to keep the head steady okay and at the same time second person will kind of press on the knee slightly to keep that joint steady okay because if baby is moving that uh, knee you know uh, then you will have false length okay so you want to make sure that you lock that uh, knee uh, and then kind of kind of press it don't not too hard of course just basically make sure that child do not uh, move that uh, leg. Uh, another thing what I have also noticed in field when I work that uh, many times you know when a child is, uh, when we check the length of children, a lot of these people what they do is they do not kind of uh, uh, you know check the length from the heel of the child, you know heel of the foot, uh, they check it basically from the toes. So you take the length uh, basically uh, from, from the hip you know, so make sure that your, uh, your length uh, you take it from the heel and not from the from the from the toes. Okay, so that is another important point that I wanted to show. Uh, another thing which is also important about the uh, checking the weight of the baby. Okay, so when you checking the weight of the baby, you want to make sure that you remove too many clothes. Don't don't put on too many clothes. You know, remove blanket, remove uh, or, you know extra uh, layers. If it's too cold, then you know maybe sh baby can wear one little kind of. Uh, on sea or one little small uh, jabla we call it you know but avoid making child wear too many clothes specifically in first two weeks of age you know because we want to see correct weight gain because your decision will be based on the weight gain of the child okay so that's what I wanted to mention and uh, thank you so much and uh, watch it uh, properly and kind of uh, you know teach others also how to measure uh, one more pointer before I leave is uh, I wanted to also kind of uh, uh, stress on when you're checking the measurement okay say uh, when you're checking the height of the child so that when you're looking at the uh, you know height yeah, it should be at the eye level okay it should not it you should not be looking from top or you not you should not be looking from the bottom you know the height so make sure that when you're checking the like how many centimeters or how many inches child is it should be at the eye level Okay, so that's one is uh, important. So thank you so much and uh, you know just definitely go ahead and teach others also. Thank you. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the measurement of children's weight and height. In this tutorial, we will learn how to measure a child's weight using the Salter scale. How to measure a child's weight using a Digital scale. How to measure a child's length or height. Anthropometry is the most frequently used method to assess nutritional status. Let us learn how to measure weight using a Salter scale. Salter scale is a spring hanging scale. It can weigh up to 25 kgs. 
To measure weight, you will need weighing pans or bucket. In this tutorial, we will be using weighing pans. Before weighing the baby, attach the pans to the scale. Adjust the scale to zero. Then remove the pants from the scale. Undress the baby. It is best to weigh the baby without any clothes. Now put your hands through the open areas of pants legs. Gently grasp the baby's feet and put the baby in the pants. Now attach the pants to the scale in a way that the baby hangs freely. Make sure the baby doesn't touch anything. Do not touch the scale or the baby. Stand in front of the scale so that the pointer is at your eye level. Wait till the child stops moving. Otherwise, the needle will move when reading the weight. When the child is steady, read the weight on the scale. Read it up to the nearest 100 grams mark. Write down the weight immediately so you don't forget it. The scale must be checked every day by using a known weight. Do not forget to readjust the scale to zero before every weighing. Next, let us learn how to measure weight using a baby digital scale. Clean the tray. Put the weighing scale on a flat, stable surface like a table or a platform. Connect the power plug. If the scale runs on batteries, put the batteries in it. Switch it on. The digital display will show some number. Adjust the digital display to zero by manually adjusting the knob. Some weighing scales have automatic zero display. Place a clean and dry towel or paper on the tray. This will reduce the chances of a drop in the baby's body temperature. It will also prevent the transfer of infections. Undress the baby. Place the baby on the towel in the middle of the tray. Note the reading on the digital display. Write it down. Switch the machine off after use. Remember to use a separate clean and dry towel for each baby. Check the accuracy of the weighing scale with standard known weights every week. Do not press the weighing tray with your hand. It could damage the weighing machine. Next, let us learn how to measure weight using a family digital scale. Digital or electronic scales provide quick, easy and precise measurements. Family digital scales can be used in two different ways to weigh children. Children who can stand up can be weighed by making them stand on the scale. Other children can be weighed in the arms of an adult. This is also called double weighing. To weigh the child, place the scale on a hard and flat surface. A wooden board can be used if you are weighing the child on the field. Explain the procedure to the child's mother or carer. Take off the child's clothes, if possible. Turn on the scale. Tell the child to stand on the scale. If the child can't stand, ask the mother or an assistant 
to stand on the scale. After the adult's weight appears, press the reset button. Zero must appear before the child is given to the adult to be weighed. The weight displayed will be the child's weight. Write down the weight immediately so you don't forget it. Handle the scale with care. Protect the scale from excess humidity or excess heat. Next, let us learn how to measure a child's length or height. Length is used for children shorter than 87 centimeters or under 2 years of age. Height is used for children taller than or equal to 87 centimeters or over 2 years of age. For length or height measurement, you will need a height board. You will need two people to take the measurement. You will need support from the carer when taking the measurement. You must take off the child's shoes and socks. Remove anything that covers the child's head as well. For length measurement, put the height board flat on the ground. Lay the child on the board. The child's head should be touching the fixed board end. The child's feet should be towards the movable foot piece. One person should sit on her knees straight behind the fixed board. She should place her hands over the child's ears. She should hold the head of the child firmly with her hands. In this position, the child should be looking straight up. The top of the child's head should touch the fixed board. Now, the second person should position himself properly. He should sit on his knees near the foot piece. He should straighten the child's legs. With one hand, he should hold the child's knees firmly on the board. With the other hand, he should move the foot piece. He must move it until it is pressing against the heels of the child. He should not tilt the foot piece. The child should lay completely flat on the height board. The person holding the footpiece should read the length of the child. His eyes must be straight above the measuring tape while reading. Length can be read up to 1 mm of accuracy. He must write down the length immediately. Now, let us learn how to measure a child's height. For height measurement, put the height board straight up. Make sure the fixed board end is flat on the ground. The movable headpiece should be at the top end. Put the back of the board against a flat wall. Remove the child's footwear. Tell the child to stand on the center of the fixed board. The child's heels must be pressed against the height board. The child's knees must be straight. The child's shoulders and head should be pressed against the board. The child's hands must be at the sides. The child should look straight ahead. The first person should sit on her knees on the side of the board. Her left hand should be on the child's knees. She must keep the child's knees together and straight. 
her right hand should be on the front part of the child's lower legs the second person should sit on his knees in front of the board he should move the head piece until it presses against the child's head he must hold the head piece straight with one hand with the other hand he should cup and hold the child's chin now he should read the height while reading his eyes should be straight in front of the measuring tape he can measure the height up to 1 mm of accuracy he should write down the height immediately detailed interpretation of these measurements is discussed in other tutorials please visit our website for more information this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for joining